I'm wondering whether that's the sort of thing where without that maybe thing psyching him out, whether he can put himself in the position to win the entirety of the tournament, get the run back. He's going to have to take two sets from Jen. It's going to be a mountain regardless. And right now, it's the buzz going the uh, Olimar pick against Jen, which is a pretty good choice because uh, on FD as well. Oh. Yo, we had time to pluck and punish still? Oh, Jen still has the electricity and fire on him for a second, but was able to nair them off and get the... Oh, but he's at 81%. That's how important it is to get those Pikmin off of you. And especially Poison and the purple Pikmin. Because they can rack up so much damage on you so quickly. I already know how devastating those yeah. could be. Oof. That's going to be... That wow, stock. what a stock. Yeah, we've seen... That's one of the ways that Jen likes to be taking those stocks from the buzz. Mm -hmm. Going deep out there for a back air. We can kill, especially a lighter character like Olimar. So, so, so early. Now, though, Jen at 118 trapped at the ledge. Can he actually get <gasps> off of it? Yeah. Wow. Not off I... of it, but gain that stock away from him. That's... Interesting. I don't know what the, he went for a grab. I thought and it just completely whiffed. I wonder what that exactly was about. Regardless, the match continues and because <laughs> of that extra time, now Tapaz has two purple Pikmin. Getting in on this guy is going to be that much harder now with two projectiles that are going to stop you in your tracks. Yeah, and right now throwing those purple, those purple Pikmin out right now, and Jen's trying to down tilt them away from him to make sure they don't actually attach to him using there and down tilt to his advantage because it's so small, of course. But oh, the Jen really avoiding those uh, those up airs from the buzz. But right now he's at 99 percent. The buzz 33, 45, maybe something more if you keep him off the ledge. But not quite. Jen was actually the one off the ledge this time. What well, was that angle? That up smash nowhere near killing. And that means that Jen now has quite a bit of rage to work with. We've already seen that he's willing to go off stage for those deep back airs. Can he maybe find that sort of situation for no, himself? Not this no, time. He that had to air dodge through yep, the purple. Said, yep. That air does cost him. Yeah, yeah, you avoid the purple, but then you got your stock taken away from you. Yeah, I think maybe he wanted the neutral air dodge and accidentally got directional, but regardless, mm. what's done is done, and now Jen is he's having to make this comeback happen, and the buzz seems to be settling himself in, figuring out exactly what the game plan is to keep Jen away from ever seeing a, a victory in this game, at least. Already, Jen at 110% because those Pikmin and that those purple events especially are so lethal. But right now, Jen has to. Explosive Flame is not going to be it, though. Surprisingly enough. Ooh, despite being done, that F tilt is oh, enough yep, to do it. Yep. Oh, 125%. Yes, Jen can die pretty much from a host of moves, especially when a purple is in play. At the same time, though, if he plays his cards correctly, keeps uh, the buzz off the stage, and uses a uh, you know explosive flame. Nair, fair will be enough for him. And he maybe he the whistle. No. Not quite right now. No. Using that whistle to his advantage, trying to keep himself from dying. I thought we were gonna see the back air, but he was just so extra patient. That white on oh. him is. Okay, he gets off of it just in time, but he's still at 142. Blue is in effect, which means the grab uh, is gonna yep. kill. Yeah, that's definitely what the buzz had going from. That's why he mm -hmm. didn't even pluck another Pikmin. Nope. He was like, I have my purple if I need to hit him, and I have the blue if I need to grab him. And, and eventually that white. he found that grab. So glad that Jen was able to get that white off him in such a good amount of time, but that white still did so much damage on him. <sighs> yeah, no, it, it brought him to that extremely important threshold where also blue Pikmin looks so silly when he up there, when he gets this. Look at that. <laughs> what, are we looking at uh, are we just the buzz doing a little nod pop off? Is that what we're paying attention to? He's like, this is how it's supposed to been. This just should happen like three rounds ago. <laughs> I know he has vengeance. He went to like like three rounds of like fighting to get here again for a chance at a rematch against Jen. Good music choice, by the way. I'm not sure if that was randomized or whether that was purposefully selected, but regardless, much appreciated. Surprisingly, we're back on FD. I think this is the third time they've been on FD in the total of like them well, fighting. It's we saw it earlier when he was playing against Tilda. Um, he's just a run back machine. Mm -hmm. He's like run it back. Just run back. I don't care if the stage is better for you. Just run back. Jen does not care. Jen is like, I'm gonna make an I'm, I'm gonna make a statement. And the statement is FD, my stage. But I'm not really quite sure about this, Jen. Oh honestly though, I'm liking the pressure right now. I, did the wind box protect him? I don't even know. But uh look at the way that he's jumping in at the buzz, but not really committing to any moves. Or if he does, they're extremely well spaced. That actually, that misspaced order should have gotten punished, but the buzz is just being a little extra careful. Get that I purple suppose. off of you, and that blue get that blue off of you into oh, 
I mean, the thing is, though, he doesn't want to get up because his main priority is he actually wants to punish the buzz for being at the ledge. Ah! Oh. So cheeky! <laughs> He looks so vulnerable. It's just like, I'm just, just there. flying here. I'm just a widow boy. I'm surprised that Jump was able to, uh, able to capitalize on that, uh, the slow movement of, of uh, Olimar's upbeat. What an awful sound when he throws a Pikmin. Ooh, the purple killed? The purple throne actually did it. All right. With the buzz that back air, yep. the perfect angle, great on Jen. And I remember from the first set, the buzz was armoring through so many of Jen's combo starters. He would just go for that whistle and get out of it for free. Now, Jen has paid attention. He is punishing them almost every time the buzz tries to whistle to get away. Oh, not letting Jen, not letting the buzz throw out those Pikmin. <gasps> There's no You're way. Dead. Oh. Head shake from Jen, definitely. That's so unfortunate. The fact he had no invincibility. There was the buzz at all the time in the world to time that down air, mm -hmm. and he did. This is now looking like what was honestly looking like the comeback game for Jen. It could still be his comeback game if he's able to just make sure he doesn't get. Oh, there's just two purple on the on the pulled up right now. He has to avoid him at all costs. And the buzz is so good, just perfectly spacing himself away from the explosive flames. Oh. Oh man, and these high recoveries. The buzz is going high with the up B, and Jen just isn't able to actually punish him. Not getting that down, so getting punished for it. In fact, and right now, and, and the buzz constantly using that whistle to make sure he's, he's a little bit invincible. Oh no. Yeah. There it is. All right, that's a bracket reset. Thankfully, We're, that's not over. This is, this is almost like a best of five, but not really. Yeah, it would be a bit of a heartbreaker if Jen ended uh, up losing because of that unfortunate. Mm -hmm. I mean, basically, an SD. Yeah. Like as soon as he went down, and there was nothing he would that would happen to him except him dying. Uh, but he did win on the winner side of things, so we are now going to be moving on to the true finals. The true finals between these two players, two titans of the New York scene. The buzz, you know, I mean, Jen is here almost every week. The buzz is a little bit more of a, uh, a you know, a gem to see here. I Grand always, Finals yeah. is also, you know, it's kind of his home as well, though. Mm -hmm. So let's see who will actually be crowned tonight's Xeno champion here. It all comes down to this. Come on, try and get that back here. Oh, first duel, but not quite going to do anything with it. <gasps> oh, you took so much damage from that thing. Uh, Jen took more damage from the white than he did in his own cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Billy getting the tail end of his explosive flame. That was an interesting uh, up to he took. He started to take. Oh god, this, this is spacing on Jen's part until just now, but oh, don't let yourself get eaten by these Pikmin, though. It's actually really interesting. I feel like Jen, when he chooses not to let, like, get the Pikmin off of him, it's in situations where he then manages to get out of disadvantage or really push his advantage. He makes an active decision to say, this time around, I don't care if the Pikmin does damage to me. It's more important that I, you know, basically take what I've been given to the maximum. Oh. And there's the blue Pikmin. That only the blue will actually lead to kill throws. Mm -hmm. So it's the sort of thing where you have to be paying attention to what Olimar is doing, what Pikmin is out in front, because if it's the blue, definitely he's looking definitely for that throw. throw yeah. I was gonna say something about this, uh, about like Olimar in general. I completely forgot what it was. I think I was gonna say something about the fact that like, like you can get all these Pikmin on you. Oh, if you're at low percentage, it's more important to make sure the Pikmin aren't on you because you don't want to rack up all that percentage. But when you're at a high percentage, it almost doesn't matter because you're so high already. Yeah. You know, I agree with that. You know, I'm, now that I'm looking at the way the Buzz is playing, mm -hmm. uh, this Olimar, it reminds me of his Rosa. Specifically how his Rosa, he would put the Luma out there and then kind of bait his opponents to try and hit it yes. and then punish them for doing so. He does the exact same thing with the Pikmin. He'll throw out the Pikmin. You know, Jen will try to down tilt the purple away or nair the Pikmin off of him. And then the Buzz is like, that's what he's actually been waiting for, expecting, and that's where he finds his opening. I'm telling you, just like that Rosalina, just like that, just with all of them, he uses those, uh, those guys as like little shields, little like feelers. See, hey, are you going to take this bait or are you going to get your, let yourself get hit by them? Take your pick. Are you going to get hit either way? That was so good. That was something where like the buzz was getting away with high recoveries for free. <gasps> oh. oh. 
Because he lost his jump. He lost his jump. The purple hit him. And then he was forced to up B at that specific timing. And Buzz was just ready for it with the back air. That's a massive pickup for Buzz. And, and look at that. 57% already. Just one purple in hand. That's all he needs to keep putting the hurt in. God, right now, Jen's in a really, in really sticky spot. 79%. And the buzz is not allowing him to get that get that up smash like at, at all. He's weighing it out for a split moment for going in with his own combo. Maybe 105% might be able. Yep, there. Oh, oh, okay. For what a second, a I thought it doesn't come back. For a second, I thought it doesn't come back. No, because only uh, uh, Jen was on his last yeah. stock. So if you see that kill screen in a trade and only one person is about to be yeah. actually dying from I it. I saw both of them and I was like, yeah. someone is coming back. It was just lingering a little too long. Yeah, but that, that purple yeah, back there is just so strong. So that's three games in a row taken by the Buzz. Jen, despite winning in winner's finals, he's on the back foot now. He needs to reverse 2 0 to Buzz, or he is going to be walking away with only a measly second oh. place finish. Jen is no longer wanting to run that back. He's going on PS2. Well, also because um, uh, he had counter pick yep. for stage. So, like, he didn't have to run it back because they restruck. <laughs> like, for all I yeah. know, it might have... I forget how it works. Does the buzz get to kind of pick up its... Anyway. I still don't um, understand how it works. Little quiche. It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. I've, 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 you think I've been in grand finals before? You think I know how this stage Absolutely works? not. It just yeah. what, and, and to me, it's whatever works for both players. We're good. But right now, PS2 may be... I wonder if Gen thinks it'd be more advanced because of the, add, the addition to platforms at the moment. Maybe give him a little more air uh, to work with. Uh, it just seems not, because Jen's having a hard time trying to find an opening against these Pikmin and Olimar in general. Yeah. Oh, but look at this. Still so far, the buzz looking once again really, really strong. Maybe there was something about those monitors, because he is looking like I'm an entirely you. different beast. The light oh still got on him! Gosh. <laughs> All okay, over there. It's, I, it didn't end up meaning that much, uh, but it's still funny that he managed to snipe him with the white. Uh, as it stands, though, the buzz still could die first. Like, very feasibly, might just die first. Okay. Wow, that, that, that little upbeat from Olimar is so pathetic. I love it. Not enough to do it Con just quite yet, but Jen's been in stage control for a there while now. There we go, that down tilt and tilt back here is not going to be able to do it surprisingly. It's supposed to be avoided by the buzz, having great spacing to avoid the the taking from the stock, but that dash attack is going to be able to take it for him. And in that specific situation, the dash attack is so good. It will counter any hitbox because of the shield that mm -hmm. uh, the buzz would want to throw out, and he lost his ledge invincibility, so he couldn't even retreat to the ledge. Great, fantastic pickup from Jen. He's now at a 200%, but he is living. He's dead. <laughs> dead! He's dead! <laughs> oh man. Taking oh. getting rid of those uh, the white and the yellow Pikmin. Oh my god. Oh if you have a Pikmin lapped onto you and then you get hit, and then you're like taking a combo in addition to all of the Pikmin slaps, it just th the escalation is just out of control. Come on. Then he's using that dash like oh there's no way. Okay. Okay, he got the sour spot. If he had gotten the sweet spot of that down, that it absolutely would have been, been a dead gen. Yep. Oh god, don't out here throwing all these Pikmin. Getting rid of the red one. I'm sure he's trying to get the purple one instead, because red isn't as, as dangerous as the poison. Oh my gosh. Jen has to play his cards right right now. Check, try and let's trap... Uh, the, the buzz at the moment, but I'm not sure he's gonna be able to leave Purple Pikmin coming at him at, at all these sides, just distracting to put pressure on his shield. Very early time uh, up smash on, on, on Jen's part. However, let's see if he's gonna capitalize on the on the ledge. Back throw. That's with the flame. Down so into back air. Oh, oh, not great quite. fade back from DeBuzz. Avoids the finishing blow, keeping himself alive. 124% though, it doesn't matter. Any single opening he gets can lead to massive amounts of damage. Keep in mind, this is... This might be Jen's last stock of the tournament. I want to make sure I want everyone to be aware that Jen is not playing on any of his stocks. He's not being more careful with his approach. He's approaching the same as he always does. Oh my god, okay. 
even though Jin has 62 percent, he can definitely, definitely make this uh, comeback. Oh, 100 percent. Absolutely could. I mean, he took the first stock earlier. He survived to about 200. Mm -hmm. If he manages to repeat that kind of success, recreate the exact tactic that had gotten him to that point, he could very feasibly make this comeback happen. But first, he needs to get out of the corner. Yeah, definitely. The corner has been, has been uh, Jen's like. For once, his weakness in, the, in this matchup, specifically with the buzz. Oh no. 119%. He can't be going after these Pikmin. There's three of them. The buzz is going to use it to his advantage. And now he's at the moment where he doesn't really care if they're on him at the moment. He does just a high percentage. It doesn't really matter as much. Back air, or back throw. Things are getting really dice. <gasps> oh, oh what a not going to kill quite yet. Quite too far from the edge of the stage. <gasps> Trapped at the ledge, he needs to find some way to get past the purple. The purple knocks him off once more. 162 to Buzz no, finally finds the finishing All hit. All of the edge of the stage. The Buzz is our Xeno winner. Wow, that's oh. incredible. <gasps> Reverse 4-0 once they got to Grands. A complete 180 from winner semis. <sighs> yeah, so, I mean. That was intense. That, I was wait, Lily. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah. No, he hit two purple. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. That was a double purple down smash. <laughs> that was over. You're, you're done. You're done. You're done. Yeah, but anyway, it's really cool seeing the buzz make it out to Xeno. It's also really cool seeing him win the entire yes. thing. Yes. Even even with that, that fight he has to go through in losers, and then back to win the grand, and then final grand, like true grands. Yeah. Uh, I, I know I the also, buzz is tired. I just want to say, like, once he got to losers, did he drop a game? I don't know. I don't think he did. Like no. once, it, once he lost to Jenny, he's like, "All right." And now he will. And he got real serious, and he's like, "I'm game." Man. He he wanted that run back so bad. I know he <laughs> did. God, but that that would be it for today's tournament. That was just a lot of great plays, a lot of surprising like re yeah, results totally, today. Totally, totally novel placements. In, in fifth place, I believe. Or Jazzy fifth. LRA Jazzy fifth. start also in fifth. Top eight for I think top be the eight. first no, time. Top eight. Got yes. Top six. So good, good stuff to start. Yeah, yeah, good stuff to both of them. And then, of course, you have just the regular players that you know are going to always perform well, mm -hmm. managing to keep up, you know, stay ahead of the pack. Uh, I think the final the final rundown of tonight was uh, DeBuzz in first, Jen mm -hmm. second, Tilda third, Vivi fourth. And then and we had the surprise thing of uh, Jazzy. It was Jazzy and LRA start. Uh -huh. And then the two seventh place finishers being Dill and, and John. John. Which oh. is that's <laughs> yeah that's kooky, uh, but honestly, so much, so much fun I had here. All sorts of crazy games, all over the place. It has been my pleasure commentating for you guys. Of course, I always, uh, always love commentating this yep. this uh, venue uh, so much. You can follow me on Twitter at saltyfun underscore ssb. Uh, do you want to plug yourself Mine's real just quick? Mine just with an extra a because Montaneva was taken. How dare you? <laughs> but it's okay. I ain't mad. Yeah, follow uh, us both on Twitter. Follow us both on Twitter and also follow House. And I mean, if you you guys just see it, you see the work that the entire House team puts in to put together these amazing productions. And so showing your support helps out so, so much. And while you still have some time, there's Macharino. Guys, do exclamation point Macharino, typing it into the chat. Uh, seriously, it helps out with the players. It helps out, you know, making sure that, you know, the talent like DeBuzz is more inclined to show up to these events when they get that little bit extra something, something in their pocket. Uh, anyway, I think that wraps it up for tonight. Yeah, honestly. I've just That's a it, good yeah. time all around. Great time. Great. Uh, amazing sets today. Hopefully we'll see you guys next week for next Xeno Weekly, as always. I believe Versace's already open, right? Yeah, in All like right. 10 minutes, we're going to be open, and you can sign up for yep. Xeno 227. So, see you guys next yep. week. It has been all types of real. We'll see you guys again next week.